सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस बेल आइकन नेवर मिस अनदर अपडेट Grenadiers regiment is participating in this Republic Day parade after 5 years and I am being joined here by Major Anurudh Nayar sir we are very proud to have you on National Defence tell us about you, your experience first how you feeling on on the Rajpath sir uh, walking on the Rajpath is every huge dream whenever I was when I was a boy a small little boy I used to watch the parade on the TV and today I have got the opportunity to walk on the Rajpath it's a dream come true for me and uh, if i tell you about my contingent we had participated in 2015 and uh, we had won the uh, the republic day parade the award for the best marching contingent and from here we were sent to russia to represent india and we participated in the victory day parade in russia so the contingent is giving its best and after 5 years uh, 2015 we had won the competition and after 5 years we put in extra effort to put up a better show this time so grenadiers they what what what's their job actual job just throwing bombs or uh... Uh, the the grenadiers as a regiment was raised uh, the uh, the men who were tall and with who had stout physique they were selected to throw grenades and uh, destroy the fortifications but over a period of time now we the role of grenadiers is the same as the other infantry units the special uh, speciality of the regiment is the only motorized battalion in the indian army belongs to the grenadiers regiment also the grenadiers regiment is the only regiment who have distinguished themselves in three conflicts winning three different pvcs in different battles tell us about those three pvcs in case if you can please in in 1965 it was uh, company quartermaster havildar abdul hamid who had uh, you all know in the battle of asal uttar had won uh, paramveer chakra by destroying seven pakistani battle tanks all by himself in 1971 it was major hoshiar singh in the battle of jarpal and in 1998 in the battle of uh, tiger hill in the uh, op vijay it was uh, subedar major yoginder singh yadav who is also it is a proud privilege for me to walk Uh, in uh, in uh, accordance with him because he'll also be walking on the rajpath he'll be as being spotted in the gypsy and uh, the grenadiers regiment is proud to have a pvc for us so such a great great feeling when you have someone uh, who has won param uh, paramveer chakra uh, and uh, you know walking or marching on the rajpath along with you such a great uh, proud feeling sir but tell us about yourself how did you join indian army sir uh I come from the National Defence Academy. I have, after my 12th standard, I appeared for the de, uh, examination for the National Defence Academy. My father works with the railways, and my grandfather is a war veteran himself. 1965, 1971, he was a war veteran. I have been inherited, uh, and I inherited this quality of uh, and this uh, motivation to join forge. It is only because of my grandfather. and uh, once i had made up my mind when I, once i had completed my 11th standard 12th i was sure that i wanted to join forge and national defense academy which is the cradle for military leadership uh, there's no better uh, academy which will teach you leadership as better than national defense academy so after my 12th standard i decided to join the national defense academy and then i got commissioned to the uh, 20th battalion the grenadiers regiment in 2015 okay uh, such a uh, privilege to be in the army and uh, but it comes with lot of uh, efforts it doesn't come that easy tell us about the efforts which you have made because you are the second generation officer you have imbibed those uh, values but it must have been not that easy it was not easy uh, joining the national defense academy as a 17 year old uh, getting separated from the family not being able to talk to them speak to them and uh, the amount of training the uh, the amount of pressure that is being put on the youngsters young cadets to mold them into uh, men of steel it was a bit difficult for me in the initial 6 months but uh, the training is formalized in such a manner that everyone who joins the national defense academy undergoes a training and becomes a man of steel within the 3 years tenure and after that there was no looking back and now i am standing where i am today give a single message to the youngsters of this country uh, who are aimless at the moment and who are on the verge of making decision tell us about something i would uh, tell all of them that uh, there's no better exciting workplace than the army itself 
the amount of adventure, the amount of pride that you feel donning the uniform, you'll never get in any other job. I would also like to motivate them by saying, even if you are a president of any country, you would not get 200 men uh, within the age of 21 who can lay down, who are ready to lay down their lives under your single command. So the leadership that you have and the responsibility that is borne on your shoulders, you will never get that feeling in any other job in the country. Wow, such a great message. Uh, mind you, I have seen, myself have seen how Indian, common Indian are crazy about Indian Army. They are the real heroes. They fight for India. And as he said that at this 21 age, there are 200 men who are ready to die for this country under your command. That is the Indian Army which, which gives us the feeling of proud. Thank you so much for uh, 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 being on the National Defence Major. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Thank you. We wish you good luck. Thank, Thank you, sir. Jai Thank sir. You. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, do share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Keep watching National Defense. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.